Kyle Estrada! And it's, it's really a shame that Kyle the Hoosier Estrada not able to compete for the title because of missing weight in this 125 pound title match because he's had an incredible career thus far. Eight and three, two victories by knockout, six by decision so he can go the distance. He's coming off of a Celtic Gladiator victory over Benji Gomez. He's got a Bellator win over the Farmer of Destruction, David Duran. And when you look at his history in the CXF cage, CXF eight victory over Benji Gomez, another victory over Gomez, and a CXF six win over Michael Reyes, so so impressive. It's just a shame that he, he edged himself out of this title opportunity. The Hoosier, Kyle Estrada, kicking it back to 1984 with the Van Halen entrance, a little jump there. Five foot seven inches tall, 28 years of age. Fancies himself a kickboxer training out of Saxon's Muay Thai. You see the whole train of Saxon's killers over there. A native of Indianapolis, Indiana, eight and three, in the midst of an impressive six fight win streak, Kyle Estrada is all business. Got his game face on tonight. Real looking forward to this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to CXF. As tonight, Lights Out Promotions in association with Bash Entertainment present to you our first title fight of the night. Three rounds for the CXF 125 pound title. Fight fans, it's time to rock and roll. First in the blue corner wearing black, weighing in at 125 pounds, he stands five foot eight. From Hawaii, and now fighting for Team Oyama Irvine. With a record of 13 and 5, a former UFC fighter, this man is also a gladiator challenge fighter and PXF champion. I give you Louis de la Samurai Smolka. <laughs> and in the red corner, also wearing black, winging at 129, he's 5 foot 7. Originally from Indianapolis, Indiana. And now fighting for Sakasan's Muay Thai Van Eyes with a record of eight and three. This man is the Celtic Gladiator Flyweight Champion. I give you Kyle, the Hoosier Estrada. The third man in the ring giving instruction, Michael Bell. Right, gentlemen, you got your instructions backstage. Just defend yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. If you want to touch gloves, touch them now. Best of luck to both of you. Getting set for action. 125 pound championship up the line on the line. Should Lewis Smoka get the victory? Don't blink. Get your popcorn ready. You're right, Bronson Casares. This is going to be a smoker. See if Lewis can smoke the competition. Strata starting out with that leg kick to the outside. Nice right hand over the top from Estrada. Good exit, too. Strata very quick on his feet so far. Catching Smoker with a slip there. Trading kicks. Smoker on his back. Nice right hand from Estrada returning Smoker. Smoker looking to scissor the legs and transitions beautifully into a single leg. Got to be careful, however. Ask uh, McWilliams all about that. Oh, now! Oh, Estrada's got that tight. Trying to get the mount really crank on it. Transitioning from position to position. Standing guillotine for Estrada. Smoka in trouble here. This is where the height is not an advantage for Estrada, however. But man, look at these transitions. Oh, that's going to be it. That's really readjusted and tight. In. We said he had a chance to play spoiler. He can't win the title, but he can certainly keep Smoka from winning it. Smoker refusing to tap here, trying to stay alive, swimming with his feet, trying to get position here. Good job to break the feet of Estrada, but still mounted here. Estrada's got to be careful not to burn that arm out on the choke. He let go, still controlling the neck with one arm here. 
Excellent point. You can gas yourself out if you commit to that and don't get it. Smoka sits up and looks to the sky to try to parlay that single leg into a takedown. Estrada snuffing it out. Boy, impressive, impressive ability to weather the storm there by Lewis Smoka. Still trying to free himself entirely. Single leg attempt here by Lewis Smoka. Smoka gets his head free, now back to his feet. Let's see if the samurai, the last samurai can let his hands go here. Well, he's got five TKO victories in his imp out of his impressive 13 wins in his career. Spinning back kick attempt there by Estrada. Spinning back fist. Just missing with both of them. Oh, big right hand. Oh. Wobbles. Oh, oh he's, he's hurt. Smoke is hurt. Smoke in big time trouble. Intelligently, and Estrada asked him to get back to his feet. Yeah, he wants to be able to finish the job. And... Lewis Smoka on very rubbery legs here. Yeah, you can tell by the knees, Smoka does not have his legs underneath him yet. Estrada looking for that one home run shot. Now putting together a nice combination, but Smoka in on the legs once again. And now Estrada going to work with repeated elbows to the midsection, just trying to punish Lewis Smoka. Oh, again, I don't think Smoke is going to survive it again. Estrada again looking for the neck. Smoke transitions back, but knee on belly now. Estrada looking to take the back. The Hoosier all over the last samurai here in the first round. Desperation here by Smoke. Trying to hang in there. He's in a battle for the title, a battle for his life against Estrada, who continues to smother. Smoka trying to kick off the cage and reverse his fortunes and gets out of there. But, I mean, what's left? smoka has been rocked earlier. Ooh, crisp uppercut from Estrada. Again, starching Smoka. Another crisp right hand followed by the check hook. Estrada really getting loose here. Very wow. impressive performance so far. Smoka follows in, went for the head kick. It was caught, parlayed into a takedown, and Estrada backs right back out of there. He sees the sees the shark seeing, uh, smelling the blood in the water. He wants to finish this thing. Kyle Estrada perhaps sensing the fog in the eyes of his opponent. In kill mode here. He has to be careful not to overexert himself. Smoka continues to move forward, though, and now it's Smoka stalking. Don't know how much he's got behind those shots, but as long as he's throwing and not eating, it's, it's good for him. It's rock em, sock em robots now, both of them trading hands. Smoka catching a right hand there. Estrada back in top position. First round's been full of action now within 10 seconds, so Smoka... Looks as if he is going to weather that storm. And that's impressive because he was in big time trouble and throwing some shots of his own in the closing seconds. What great action. Great first round from Kyle Estrada. We thought this was going to be a real close matchup, but Estrada dominating in that first round. Big right hand lands. Trading kicks. Smoker hits the... The canvas once again. Beautiful job of catching the neck here. Estrada looking for the guillotine. Now mounted. Spinning back fist just missing all Kyle Estrada in that first round. The Hoosier going to work. He had uh, Smoka wobbled a couple times in that round. Dropped him once. It looked like he could have had him dead to rights with the guillotine and the strikes. But credit... Lewis Smoka for surviving. There you see attempted head kick by Smoka. Gets caught, gets taken down. But Smoka will survive to see round two. Again, a shot at the 125 pound championship for Lewis Smoka. But he's got a hole to climb out of here in round two. Concerned look on the face of the UFC veteran Lewis Smoka. 
perhaps not expecting the assault from Kyle Estrada that he was on the wrong end of in the first round. Round two begins, Estrada with the leg kick early. And it is worth mentioning, at the, at the end of the first round, Smolka did come to life, ended in top position with some ground and pound. Now he's starting to get loose with his hands. Estrada retreats for the first time in the fight. Nice left there by Estrada, but Smolka continues to move forward. Spinning back fist attempt again. Estrada's thrown it a couple times throughout this fight. Nice overhand counter from Estrada. Smolka and Estrada both letting their hands go here. Nice check left hand on the inside from Smolka. Oh, big six punch combination from Smolka, but Estrada fighting his way back off of the cage. Nice flurry, nice exchange by both. Great action here in our first championship fight of the night, and it is not disappointing. Smoka, though, more volume in his strikes right now, starting to throw punches and bunches. Smoka, relatively dry, not a lot of sweat. Stark contrast to his opponent, Kyle Estrada, soaking wet here as he eats up some more of those shots from Lewis Smoka. This thing could turn into one of those classic slugfests that has been a signature of CXF. Again, worth mentioning, Estrada had a very tough weight cut. Seems to be tiring a little bit here, perhaps. That's playing into it. Oh, Smoka. Oh, beautiful job by Smoka to frame the head of Estrada, but Estrada holding on to that guillotine. Not in tight, though. Smoka escapes that after executing a beautiful slamming takedown. Why well, Smoka looking like a different fighter here in round two, Jonathan. Gaining confidence, which each second, as each second ticks by, Lewis Smolka has Kyle Estrada guessing here in the second round. Estrada trying to control the posture to get the referee to stand him up. But Smolka doing just enough here, Todd, I think, to stay busy. Mentioned that Lewis Smolka had a big pit to climb out of. He starts that climb here in round two. Things going his way. Lewis Smoko trying to punch away to keep the referee at bay. Nice, nice elbows now as well by Smoka. Ooh, sharp left elbow on the inside from Smoka. And another. Kyle Estrada on the wrong end of the Lewis Smoka's ground and pound here. Trying to fight off his back. Estrada trying to get some distance here. Oh, but now looking oh. for the leg. Estrada looking for a leg lock here. Smoka trying to get free. Estrada not able to cinch that up. Now he sits heavy on that leg, controlling the position once again. An amazing action here at CXF 15. Throughout the night we talked about three title bouts. This just the first. You see Estrada using that figure four lock on the leg of Smolka, and then grappling at the neck, trying to control the posture, but Smolka's able to land a few shots in here, and referee Mike Bell's a veteran of the game. He's not gonna stand these guys up unless there is no action. Yep, you mentioned it before, Smolka. Oh, bad doing position. Enough to stay busy. Now hammer fist by Smolka, rights and lefts. An onslaught, a flurry by Smolka, who's trying to finish here and take home the gold. Kyle Estrada still fighting off his back. He needs to try to get out of this position and buck back to his feet. Oh, That's man, some cool. vicious elbows now by Smoka, who is turning up the heat. Referee Mike Bell getting a real close look here. Estrada still fighting back, but how much more can he take? And Lewis smoka has got to be asking himself, what else do I got to hit this guy with? <laughs> no doubt about it. How much more does Smoka oh. have to even throw? Shot after shot by Smoka, the would-be 125-pound champion, if he can finish things off. But now only seconds left. 
for Estrada to survive this second round. Oh, sharp right hand over the top from Smolka. Referee getting real close and he stops. Oh, just in time. The bell could not have come any sooner for Kyle Estrada. Oh, he can't even get back to the stool. The referee's called it oh, off. That's my it. goodness, history indeed. That is made. it. The fight is over. What we a have a new champion. What a come from behind effort by Lewis Smoker.